the first time I came, I found a little bit of racism in the community. That was the first time the locals start seeing more dark colored people in their communities. And I think they were wondering about taking their jobs. But then we tried to connect to the community. And then I organized concerts and shows and we display our culture and our music and who we are. That's really pricked the eyes and make we connected more with the community. This is the 15 years for me being involved in the scheme. The first time I came, I knew nothing about the horticulture industry, about vineyards, about orchards. That experience really helped me to become who I am today. We have to be careful with the fruit because it's very soft. My name is Phoebe and I'm from Vanuatu. I have my husband, we work as uh, RSC workers and I work inside a back house. In 2021, we work with only six ladies. The ladies can do that too, not only the men. Every day we wake up in the early mornings, like five o'clock, we, we cook rice together, prepare your food to take it to the farm. We work hard, but I think about uh, my home. That's why I want to join the RSC scheme to develop your islands, you know. We have been part of the RS scheme since its induction. I think at the time we joined because we could see that finding labour was becoming an issue. If we really wanted to continue to plant and grow and expand and evolve, we needed um, a reliable workforce. The RSE is really important for us. We, we couldn't do what we do without them. With Joseph's group, um, we picked them up from the airport. I don't think any of them had check-in luggage. They were all just, they had a supermarket bag of their worldly belongings and that was what they had with them for the next seven months. Um, so they come from um, families or communities that don't have a lot. They live frugally, they save whatever they can and they know that every cent will count when it gets home. So they're very focused on you know, the reason that they're here to support their villages or their family or their communities back home. My first time I made ten thousand dollars in here. My purpose is helping my family to give the money, like buying it's like clothes or food. Make more money to build my home in Vanuatu because I want more kids, you know. Life is expensive. My job as a teacher, I enjoy it. It's a challenge too because my husband is not here. When my husband went working overseas to New Zealand, we could save enough money and purchase the land and build a a decent house to live in. It enables me to 
feel good. Uh, so when I'm here and he's over working overseas, uh, I know that he's doing something overseas to support me and I and the children could be enjoying life here in Port Vila. If the family are not well back home, the boys don't enjoy their work. The idea for the support group is to help the workers to have a good work environment. Um, we meet regularly just to make sure that the boys are on track with their calls and the family are happy back home. The men meet here in New Zealand and the women meet back at home as well, so that the, the program is two-way. We meet together to encourage one another to do other things that will benefit us. There's uh, programs that we run every once a month. We learn to paint or to weave or to sew. It enables us to, to sell them to earn money from it so, so that we don't think about the, the space that our husband is, has left us in New Zealand. We could be busy doing these activities so that we are not so worried about our husband looking overseas. We do counselings as well, just to make sure that uh, they, they are well looked after. Sometimes we have social issues with distance relationship. If the communication has been broken, you know, we look for ways to solve the problem. I am here and Peter the other side and we work to so that little issues like this. So the key point is uh, communication has to be very good. I face a lot of challenges. One of the changes that I want to see with the RSC workers is uh, I want couples to travel together so they can trust each other and they can talk together how they can manage the money so they came back and do something for their kids. Yeah, I have uh, one daughter and one son. We talk every day when we finish work. We say hi. You are right. We encourage the workers as well to start small businesses. So we look for small opportunities that if they could start a small business back home. And my first time I came here and buy a bus in Vanuatu. It's making good money. Every day we make $100 running like transport, you know. I think the RSE guys who come here with those kind of goals could teach a lot of Kiwis a lot of things. The RSE is helping a lot of us. We came back and so we buy the land and we start build the house. I always encourage people to look after RSE. There's a lot of negativity coming up, but we have to work together to make sure that it doesn't destroy RSE because, because many people will benefit in the scheme. When I have the chance to talk to many workers, that is always what I say. Look after RSE. I always say this to the workers that it's good to have the money, but the idea and the knowledge that they get here will stay forever.